Hello, it's Mark Matosh, Chief Mark on 3D, and today we're going to be reviewing the free Blender add-on, the Pipernator. This add-on was created by Use, and the link to the page is in the description below. Once you've scrolled down and downloaded the link, you come into Blender, Edit, Preferences, Install. But if you look for Pipe, you won't find it. So it's important you actually enable testing. And here it is. Give that a tick. Close this, and now we've got Pipenator. If we press N to bring up the side menu, Pipenator is located below. As always, let's start off by deleting the default cube and Shift A, adding a cube. And from here, I'm just gonna quickly make up a quick scene. And so this is what I've quickly set up. First off, I'm gonna add in some extra geometry. So I'm just gonna tab into edit mode, Control R, and add a few edge loops in. And then I'm gonna press W and subdivide, subdivide, and it's only doing that area. From here, I'm gonna be in object mode for this to work. I'm gonna click add pipes. And we've got these little nubs. That's because our pipes are on the other side. So let's quickly flip the normals. A, Shift N, recalculate normals, and we'll throw them on the inside. I'm going to come back through. I'm going to delete object pipes and add pipes. And there we go. Well, now we've got like a whole bunch of pipes already in. Number of pipes, let's bump this up to about 20. I want these pipes to be a little bit bigger. So let's go 0.07. And I want them to be sitting off the wall a little bit more. So I'm just going to go 0.16. So we've got these gigantor pipes. Let's come into here. I'm going to shift D and duplicate our background and click add pipes again. From here, I'm going to bring the number of pipes maybe up to 30, change the radius to 0.02 and set the offset a little bit closer to the wall. So let's go 0.1. Now let's hide these relationship lines by coming up to the top here and disabling overlays. And this is what we got. This is the Pipenator. Sexy. For now, this is a free Blender add-on and it's available in a link below. And I'd love to see what creations you create. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'm constantly doing Blender add-ons. If you want me to do a review on a Blender add-on, please let me know in the comments below. And also coming up in the next couple of weeks, I'll be starting a brand new short film. And if you want to keep up to date with the progress of that, Make sure you subscribe. I'll be putting updates about how it's going, this, that, and other.